Hi, welcome to Chem with Chem. In this session, we will be working question five of Chemistry Paper 2 from the June 2019 sitting. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. Be sure to check out all the other materials and of course, leave a like if you find value, share with your friends and also consider subscribing and turning on post notifications so you'll be updated the moment new material is added. Also, be sure to check out the series on concepts that are often confused and misunderstood. For example, the mole concept. So please check the description in the card above for this one. If it's not there, then just check back in a day or two and it will be there. Let's dive in. This question is on organic chemistry, introduction to homologous series and reactions of organic compounds. Part A, methane is the first member of the alkane homologous series. One, list three general characteristics of a homologous series. They have the same general formula. They have the same functional group. They also have the same ending name. Part two, write the molecular formula of the second and third members of the alkane homologous series. So they've given us the first one, methane. So they want ethane and propane. So for ethane, the second one, it would be C2H6. And for propane, it would be C3H8. From this now in part three, we're asked to derive the general formula of the alkane homologous series. If you know it, you could just write it. But just looking at what we have here, C2H6 for ethane, C3H8 for propane, we're seeing that for the number of carbon atoms, we're seeing that the hydrogen atoms is twice the number of carbon atoms plus two. So from that, we could write CNH2N plus two, N representing the number of carbon atoms. Two twos four plus two, six. Two, three, six plus two, eight. Part B. One butene belongs to the alkene homologous series and exhibits structural isomerism. Part one of B. Define the term structural isomerism. This is the, exi the existence of organic compounds having the same molecular formula but different structural formula or different arrangement of the atoms in space. Let's get that down. Part two of B, draw a fully displayed structural formula of one butene and its two isomers. All right, so we'll do one butene and the one there is telling us that the functional group, which is our carbon-carbon double bond, is going to be found at the first carbon. What do you want to count from left to right or right to left? But naturally we read from left to right. So I'll put the carbon-carbon double bond at the first one from the left, all right? It doesn't mean that you couldn't put it on the, on the first one from the right. So I'll put, so let's go. That's first carbon, that's a carbon carbon double bond. Butte means four. Let's um, adorn or put on the hydrogens on our carbons now. Each carbon must be taken part in four bonds. Carbon is tetravalent. Tetra means four. 
valence having to do with the valence electrons, electrons in the outermost shell. So that is but that's one butene. And we could have also drawn it, we could have flipped it around, in which case the carbon carbon double bond would be at still at carbon one, but from the other side, same thing. There we go. That's what it, it's the same thing. Same thing. So these two are the same thing. I just wanted to make that clear. All right, so let's look at an isomer now. So to get an isomer, we want to each time rearrange this so we get a new form. All right, and please um, look out. You can just check the card, the description above for a video that will look at some of the common terms that are often confused, like isomers, isomers versus isotopes. So you can just check that out. If it's not there, you can just look back in a few days and it will be there. So just check that out. So we could take the carbon-carbon double bond and we could put it between, we could put it at carbon two. And this is what the, the skeletal structure, the framework, would look like. So carbon three, three carbon, carbon four. And again, we want to ensure that each carbon is taking part in four bonds. So there we go. So this is isomer one. They didn't ask us to name it. Perhaps they'll ask us to name it in subsequent um, questions. And then we want to take, uh, we want to do isomer two. So what we're going to do in order to get isomer two, and I'm going to be um, using the one that I did in blue up top to illustrate. So we're going to let everything remain, but what we're going to do, we're going to cut off this portion right here. We're going to cut off this methyl group, and we're going to trade places with this hydrogen that's, let's call this carbon one, carbon two, carbon three. We're going to trade places. We're going to take this methyl group, and by methyl group, I mean the CH3 group right here. We're going to take it and we're going to trade places with the hydrogen. And that will give us a new form, same molecular formula of C4H8, but um, it's the, the atoms are arranged differently in space. So when we do that, this is what things will look like to give us the, to give us isomer number two. So this is what we'll have. So let's put on the, so this is um, in the middle carbon two, we're putting on the methyl group. So that's CH3, we're going to just draw it out all fully displayed. And we swapped places with the hydrogen. We're putting that back on. And then we just, we just need to put the two hydrogens on this carbon, and we are good to go. Right? So one butene, two butene, and two methyl propene. All right. Part C, but remain in few marks to make it up to 15. One butene, like all alkenes, are described as unsaturated compounds and undergo hydrogenation reactions to become saturated. Define the term unsaturated. So unsaturated means that there is a carbon-carbon double bond, or unsaturated means that the compound doesn't have carbons that are only taking part in carbon to carbon single bond or carbon, yeah, carbon to carbon single bond. So unsaturated, let's just get that down. Part two, state what is meant by a hydrogenation reaction. And if you look um, carefully, if you break down the word, 
you'll see hydrogen in the word and you'll see Asian. So all it means is it's a reaction where hydrogen is being added. So it's a... Um, uh, So it's a reaction where hydrogen is being added to the alkene and they want us to draw the fully displayed structural formula of the hydrogenation product of one butene, one butene. So let's just um, remind ourselves of what one butene looks like. Oh, this is not the answer, we're just reminding ourselves of what one butene looks like. So if we're adding hydrogen, then the hydrogen is going to be added across the carbon-carbon double bond. So we'd cut one of these bonds right here, which would now make room on carbon one and on carbon two, or the hydrogen that we're adding. So the hydrogen, one of the H's would go on carbon one and one of them would go on carbon two. So it would give us our final product, which would look like this. So it would be, it would move from an unsaturated compound to a saturated compound. So let's, we could put, we could put a hydrogen here, we could put one here. And they're all identical, but I just wanted us to be able to spot where it actually was added. So this is the, the final product, and that would give us the full marks. And I'm just going to highlight it by putting it in a, in a box. So that's it. So thank you for joining Kim with Kim. Please check out the series that's coming where we look at the common concepts that students um, get wrong or common concepts that students um, confuse. You don't want to miss this, so please turn on post notification. Mole concept is one of those, so please turn on post notification. Subscribe so you will not be, so you'll be notified the moment um, this is posted. Again, thank you for joining and a couple later.